Hey guys, this is OGCP De Silva playing some team deathmatch on Hazard, and I am using the Dragonov with an ACOG and a suppressor. Now, if you tell me that you've used a gun that's unconventional at its peak and use something that is really bad, this tops the list of most unconventional and weakest by far of a weapon that has a really bad rep. And if you by itself have not used the Dragonov, it's already a terrible sniper rifle. But again, when you throw an ACOG and a suppressor on it, boy oh boy, you get the worst possible combination on the earth. Or more specifically, in Black Ops. And when I heard about this combination, actually Josh Yara said that the worst combination that you could possibly using this game is the one that I'm showing you right now is the Dragonov ACOG with Suppressor and um, this class is pretty dang terrible I don't recommend you guys to use this at all unless you're one of those people like me who like to ta challenge themselves sorry I don't know what that was you got a little accent there um, like to challenge themselves with different classes and different guns and attachments as well then go ahead and try it let me know how your experience with this thing goes because I know it's gonna take some time for you to do well with it now I want to characterize three types of people or three type of people in this game now when it comes to unconventional weapons especially first of all there's people in this game who will not try to stay with the same class all the time but they will switch it up now I'm not saying they'll use unconventional weapons all the time but they will tend to switch up their classes and not always stick to the same classes all the time and they kind of switch between assault rifles, submachine guns and you know other different guns but not just stick to the one gun that they constantly use over and over because that kind of gets repetitive so you know I, li I like or love those type of players that's just one category of people um, that you know kind of switch things up another category or the second category that I find in this game that people um, are or defines the type of people who are not the repetitive type of players in this game are people who use the same or not the same gun but unconventional guns but get frustrated with them and those people who get frustrated with them just can't do it so you know they try wholeheartedly to try to get some good gameplay with that gun or try to do well with it because honestly if you use the same guns over and over you get really bored with that gun and look at how many jumps this RCXD um, gets before I finally kill that ghost freaking clown in that corner there again throughout this game you'll see close towards the end I get that same guy again he's camping in that same exact spot but again yeah so I'm going back to the second category of people and those people who get frustrated and try wholeheartedly to do well with the unconventional guns but obviously cannot so they try you know not again but they just give up on that gun and you know at least they tried but again that's the second category and the third category of people that I've noticed and I fit into this category is a group of people who regardless of how bad they do and how many times they fail with that weapon keep trying with that class to get some good gameplay or a great KD with it and try to do well with it and try to switch it up all the time when it comes to guns because honestly I have played Black Ops for a while now and you know when you kind of play through the game a little bit and you know you've been playing it for a while you kind of get bored of it and you kind of find ways to see how you could improve it or have fun in the game without using you know the traditional means of killing people and that's where I kind of fall in my category. I don't know if any of you guys fall into that category where you're playing a game and, you know, just going through the motions in that game doesn't always make it fun and sometimes it gets boring and repetitive. So you kind of switch it up and find innovative ways into how to make that game fun and finding ways that are kind of hard or difficult for you to do well in it. So that's the type of category, the third category that I probably fit in and some people or groups of people fit into. And over here you'll see I 
Um, get this guy right here with my Dragunov suppressed, and I get his boyfriend as well. And I get my SR-71, and uh, again, I'm using Hardline because it's very difficult to get some kill streaks with this type of class. So again, I had to put on some Hardline Pro on there to try to keep up with um, this class. And again, it's very hard to get some kills with it. And of course, to try to get at least a one hit kill with this, you have to go like dead above their chest and right near their neck to face area for you to get a one shot on them. And I get quite a few in this game, so I'm, you know, quite satisfied with that. You know, it's very, very difficult to get some <laughs> one shot, one kill kills with this freaking gun. It's terrible, I will tell you guys. It's really dang terrible. I don't know. I would really like you guys to try it out one time and I want to know how you guys do with this gun, how frustrated you get with it and if you guys um, would like to let me know in the comment section below what your guys' experience with this type of class is. Again, I'm using Hardline as a perk in here, um, Warlord with the ACOG and Suppressor and um, Marathon. So if you guys would like to try out those same perks that I am using in this video. Try them out and let me know what your experience with it is. Um, it's not going to be pleasant, but if it is, please do let me know because I am curious as to knowing how well or how bad you guys do and just how frustrated you get with it because I got pretty frustrated with this class. I've um, tried it out a few times before I could finally get some decent gameplay to show you guys. And look at this ghost guy gets tomahawk. What a clown. Don't camp guys with ghosts. That's just terrible. And you get embarrassed by people like me who throw tomahawks and are kind of um, unconventional as well. So again, when you're unconventional and you have uh, an unconventional way of killing people, it makes for an even embarrassing situation for people who are ghosting. Ghosting is a term that I just made up and it's going to you know be the new vocab when it comes to ghost people ghosting and camping so basically those two terms kinda are similar but there are differences in those two terms and I pick up my chopper gunner here can you believe that guys I got an 8 kill streak with this class it's pretty dang difficult to get it and to get an 8 kill streak with this gun or class is just a miracle I know if you guys have ever tried it or if you guys are going to try um, good luck with it because you'll need it it takes so many freaking hit markers to kill someone if you don't get them dead above their chest or in their head to get some kills with it so again good luck to you guys I wish you the best of luck but again I am curious as to knowing how you guys do or how well or how bad you guys do with this class I really want to know and I would love for you guys to try it out because it's pretty dang hard. I think it's, in my opinion, the hardest class by far that I've done in my videos. The most unconventional in my own experience. And I was about to get this final kill cam, but one of my teammates got it before me and I actually got a hit marker on him. Or what it seemed to be um, like a hit marker on this ghost clown. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but... Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I went 32 and 9. And I will see you guys in my next vid. This is OGCP Da Silva signing off.